There are two circle theorems involving tangents, and we are going to explore them. I'll start for I'll start with the first case um, on the left, and I'm going to use an application to explore this. So <clears throat> suppose we have a circle and a tangent. We want to find the link between the tangent and the radius. Okay, so this is the tangent and this is the radius. Now, if I move this around, what do you notice? We can see that the angle between the tangent and the radius is always 90 degrees. This angle here is always 90 degrees, all right? No matter where you move these guys, they are always perpendicular. Okay, they are always perpendicular. So you can go ahead and say that the angle between the tangent and the radius drawn to meet it is 90 degrees. So the angle between the tangent and the radius so that's very important the angle between the tangent and the radius drawn to meet it is 90 degrees so this angle here is always 90 degrees um the second theorem is here and let's explore it and see what's the relation between these guys now if i move around point a if you notice the length of this tangent a b is 9.1 and the length of a c is 9.1 so we can notice that um this tangents um which meet at the same point they are equal in length these tangents they meet at the same points and they are equal in length okay and when i talk about equal in length this is what i mean i mean if you look at the length of this tangent from this point to that point but let me use a different highlighter okay this point to that point and this point to that point those two tangents they are equal and that's why i'm saying that the tangents which meet at the same point are equal in length so tangents So the tangents which meet at the same point are equal in length. Let's now apply this in problem solving. So example one, find the size of the lettered angles in each of these circles. Let O represent the center of the circle and line AB is the tangent. Okay. So in the first case, what we have is um, a tangent. So this is a tangent. Obviously, it means that this angle here will be 90 degrees. So you can go ahead and say x is 90 degrees. Um, and then we can find y. So y will be equal to 180 minus 90 plus 37, which means y will be equal to 53 degrees. Okay? And we can go ahead and find what x is. Um, remember, this is an isosceles triangle. So this is an isosceles triangle because this is the radius of the circle. 
and that will mean that x is 36 so x will be 36 degrees now if x is 36 degrees it will mean that y will be equal to 180 minus 36 plus 36 because angles in a triangle add up to 180 and that will be equal to 108 degrees now if y is 100 so y is 180 degrees x by the way if you notice another thing is this is a tangent which means and this is the radius this angle is supposed to be 90 degrees so basically z will be equal to 90 minus 36 which will be equal to 54 degrees okay let's look at example two b and c are points on a circle um center o a b and sc are tangents to the circle angle b o c is 130 degrees work out the size of b a o so what i'm going to do is just to add a few things so that you can kind of get the idea of what's going on here so i'll add that line and that line these are basically the radiuses of this circle and i'll add that line as well okay sometimes when you have a question you have to add some um, hints to just help you to um, simplify the problem so b or c is 130 which means this will be 65 and that will be 65 as well to make it 130 and then um another thing we can see that we know that this angle here is 90 degrees because a tangent and the radius they always meet at 90 degrees so we can go ahead and find bao so angle bao bao is this angle here all right that's what you want so bao will be equal to um and you can just go ahead and do um 180 minus 90 plus uh, 65 okay to find bao and that will be equal to um 25 degrees so that's straightforward way of working out that question um, by applying those theorems. Example three, um, A and B are points on the circumference um, of a circle center O. P A and P B are tangents. So these guys are tangents. Angle A P B is 86. All right, we have it there. Work out the size of angle marked x so we know that we can find um, each of these angles and by the way each of these angles are equal because this is an isosceles triangle so this angle is equal to this angle if you notice so each of those will be 180 minus 86 divided by 2 which will give us uh, 47 degrees so each of this is 47 and then we know that this angle here is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees so x will be 90 minus 47 which will give us 43 degrees